Hey, what's going on everyone? My name's Jonah. I'm back in Spin Tires. Uh, we've got two new mods that I don't think I've seen a video for except for on actually Serge's page, his Instagram page. I mean, not sorry, his YouTube page. Sorry, it's a little early in the morning. Um, these are the two new mods right here. So we've got Serge's 1980 FJ45 and his 1991 uh, LC79 Troopy, a troop carrier. So... We are on Mashera map, I believe is what this map is called. We're going to start with the FJ-45. Now, I have already ran these. They are unbelievable mods. They really are. So we're going to start with the ARB bumper, the aerial antenna, the high lift jack, the hitch, the roof rack, roof rack add-ons, spare tires which go in the bed, and the Warren winch. Now you also have this truck bull bar, which is more of like a something you would expect to see in, in Australia, maybe Africa. You know, and they're like going down through the outback and running over kangaroos and stuff. But uh, we don't need it here. All right, let's move this thing forward real quick. The other thing that it has that I think is neat, we'll show it real quick, is it's got this boat. Oh well, we can't show it right here, of course. Back up. There's a camper trailer with a boat or without one without the top and then one with a boat both they're just military style trailers I'm not gonna really show them off because um, I don't want to have them on here they work fine there's not anything necessarily wrong with them I just don't necessarily care for them um, these are overland builds but being overland builds they have some extreme flex so I'm gonna pull the other one around actually we're gonna turn this one off then I'm going to pull the other one around. This is the Troopy. The Troopy is going to be, it's a Land Cruiser, Toyota Land Cruiser, with, instead of it having just a bed, it's got, a, essentially, like it says, it's a troop carrier. It carries seats in the back. Um, interior on these is excellent. The seats actually look like the cloth seats that you'd probably find in one. It's got a pretty detailed interior. The uh, gauges obviously aren't real gauges, but, you know, what did you expect? So we can throw the ARB bumper on. The ARB bumper has... I hate this sometimes. You know what? Let's move. Make this easier. So the ARB bumper, which is what we've got on here, or going to put on here. There we go. I think now we can see. It comes with the side pieces here, side protection down into the rock rails, into the steps. They run all the way through back into the frame. You can kind of see the blue. The next thing we're going to put is the antenna. It's another aerial antenna, just exactly like it was on the, on the HJ45. In the ARB roof rack, it runs the pretty much like three quarters of the rooftop. Comes with an extra TL, TSL SS, a TSL Super Swamper, Maxa boards, and uh, uh, just some jerry cans. We're going to throw the spare tire carrier and jerry can on. That one's going to come with another spare TSL, Super Swamper, as well as another jerry can and a high lift jack. And we're going to, we're, once again, we're not going to do another, we're not going to do trailer, but it's got the same trailers, the camper trailer and the boat trailer. This one also has a very similar bumper. I guess it's something you're going to see in maybe um, Australia or, I guess, uh, South Africa. All right, regardless, we're going to, we're going to move up here. Just take a look at all of them. Kind of compare and contrast the two, three that we have. So, FJ45 and the LC79 actually have working um, steering components. It's going to be kind of hard to tell, but if you watch this right here. I can't really zoom in on it because when I zoom in on it, you can't see it. I wonder. Let's see if I can get to a spot where it pulls the truck up some. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You can kind of see right here. It rotates. And then the knuckle rotates. And so does the steering arms. Pretty pretty realistic, impressive. I like it a lot. Um, the tires are a little too big. So you see it rubs, kind of cuts through. Not that big of a deal. I think for the most part, it still looks very realistic. It is four lengths. One, two, three, four. Uh, I don't, can't really tell. The back looks like it might be. Um, 
we do have coilovers in the front with what's going to look like something like from Dobson USA. They have that kind of bluish spring tint. The rear has leaf springs. I have spin mod on it. For some reason, I, when I zoom in, I always forget that this is the max zoom that I really should be able to go because no one can see anything when I zoom in this much. <laughs> so it does have leaf springs. And I'm going to have to wait until we get like a really good down downhill view, essentially, of it because I don't know what shocks we're running. Uh, oh, here we go. I think we are actually running bypasses. It's very hard to see it, but we are. So there's a black shaft right here that goes to, or res shock body that goes to a silver shaft, and there's a silver reservoir right there somewhere. Right inside there. Either way, this is an overland vehicle. That's what it's. That's what Serge d designed it for. I was already talking to Serge on YouTube about it, and he was saying that this is this one and the FJ45 are overland style vehicles. So I picked this map because, from what I could remember, this is a f actually a fairly decent overlandy style map. In the sense that it is, um, it's not really rock crawler esque. It's more trail riding and using the abilities of the vehicles. I don't know if we're going to see it on this map, if we'll get down to that low in water level, but these two trucks don't get a dangerous water level until about right here, which is realistic, assuming that these have been waterproofed electronics-wise. This is a 91, and in 91, this would have had some sort of electronics in it. Um, but that's the air intake, like, dangerous water level for this truck which would be just as realistic as ever you know assume let's you know what I wonder how deep man yeah, it's not really worth it assuming that everything's waterproofed I like seeing that because it shows some realism right there's some realism in the fact that hey we have a snorkel we should be able to go in a lot deeper than just the grill which is true and he did that I mean he did a good job doing that too All right, we were got an av aid done done here we'll go to the fuel station i suppose actually we've, we're full on fuel we'll just keep trailing around um one thing about these they have the little diesel motors in them that toyota land cruisers have uh of course everywhere but the united states that being said it is a very torquey motor it does like no problem whatsoever crawling up rocks uh taking on steep inclines getting through mud uh the other thing is it's running a set of what looks to be 37s tsl super swampers I like the TSL Super Swampers. They're not the prettiest tire by any means at all. Oh, looks like we've made it to the end of this trail. But they are damn good at what they do, and that is being a mud tire and a rock crawler tire. They stick to the rocks fairly well. They stick to stick into mud really well. They have no problem with mud at all. Uh, oops, wrong one. Uh, let's see. The other thing that about this particular truck is it is a little top heavy in the sense that it's got a really soft suspension for that for if you are planning on crawling or if you're going kind of fast over some trails the suspension soaks everything up but it is top heavy it just is it's not a problem it's not like it's going to make for uh this mod to be unusable or anything because we haven't flipped it yet or anything well we will if i'm a bad driver um we haven't flipped it yet but it it does get if it gets canted or canny offered pretty pretty bad it will it will uh it will try to roll all right let's go back this way we'll just keep going down this trail and uh figure out what's next on it that way like i said we can take the fj45 kind of down the same one uh yeah we'll just take this little cut through and see what's see what's going on here so I don't have my game volume up very loud, which is honestly fine to me. I can probably turn it up a little bit. There. But, um, okay, this is deep mud. It's probably not the best idea. <laughs> but, I mean, this is what those super swampers shine, right? So they're just crawling right through, digging, digging, digging. Um, interior-wise, I mean, the gauges work. I know it's hard to see it because of the steering wheel, but there you go. The gauges work. 
Of course, we're not moving because of this mud. So, you know what I'm going to do? Just to get out of the mud, because I regret going to the mud. I'm going to do this. There we go. I'll just use it to call us out. Uh, let's see. I like that it has the ARB rack, and it's pretty to spec, too, because on the rack, we've got an awning from um, Force something mods. Force 17, maybe? Force 19 mods. And at the same time, we also have the actual ARB clips. So these are what you know you have to have to mount something, a roof rack, by ARB to your roof. It's nice to see that somebody took the attention to detail to make even the clips correct. Uh, the tire carrier and the jerry can and the, the um, high lift jack, and they look great on this rig. In general, this is one of the better looking. Oh, there's a trail. Yeah, let's do it. This is one of the better looking mods out there, in my opinion. Surge has always done a really good job. He's always been a part of the community that makes really, really well done mods that are as realistic as can be. Uh, and I'll always commend him for that too, because even some of his other ones, like that that Land Cruiser, uh, the HJ79, with the it's got like red and blue suspension components. Even still, though, it has one of the most realistic uh, add-ons. Has some of the most realistic textures to the body the paint uh, and, and it still is a hell of a lot of fun to drive because it's one of the only ones that has the Patriot camper besides this LC 79 which is the single cab version uh, and it, it's also one of the funnest ones because it can flex like nobody's business and it's on 38s and 35s so this is a fun little trail of course you know I'm doing these trails and <laughs> it is overland the overland style trails where you're not really taking on much in the sense of uh, Man, I keep going into reverse in the sense of rocks and stuff, but... Oh, look at that. Take us right back. Whatever. But that's kind of what you would use these for, so I don't I don't feel remorse for it. All right, let's see. Let's see what this thing is. Um, I just read exactly what I saw. So this is the FJ45. So it's... Let's see here. It's got a different suspension setup. It's similar, but it's a little different. One thing I did notice about this truck too, that when I get to actual solid ground, I'll show you. So right here is a good spot. It has a downward cam. Now, some people are going to either love that or hate that. The downward cam is there because it's for towing. You're going to put something on the back that's going to weigh a lot. It would, in theory, pull the back, back end down, lift, keep in the front end relatively level it might raise it up a little bit but keeping the whole truck level that's the idea behind the downward cam that being said when you throw a trailer on and I don't know if it'll let me because it's going to put it up so high even with the boat trailer let's see if it'll let me there it doesn't move the back end down so it's it's fairly stiff rear end I'm going to take it back off now take off the garage um, but I mean it's not that big a deal I'm not nitpicky on it it still works very well we have a crawler set up in the sense that it's got a canted coilover still four linked four linked in the front as well with different coilovers and then also on this one we're gonna get to a point where I can show you guys the suspension components move I mean you can you can see it right there you might be able to see it if I come to this angle yeah 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 okay look oh too far right there it rotates the knuckle rotates, the suspension components rotate, or not, the, I'm sorry, the steering components rotate. To me, that's a big deal. Headlights, like I said before, only the two are going to work, but I think if you come to it at night, the light forces turn on. And man, those have a great color. The whole truck has a great, the great light color too. All LED, uh, HID kind of mix. Uh, we got a worn xenon, I think xenon rent, winch. And these things come complete with what I like the most, which is a license plate. Yeah, it's realistic. This one is right-hand drive. No gauges like the other one. Seats are the same. And then when you turn over here to look, you can actually lean over the side of the chair. That's pretty interesting. One thing I think is funny is, uh, well, never mind. I guess not on here, but I think it might be on the Troopy. The mirrors fold in. I'll have to show, show that. 
Um, same thing for this one. The water level uh, is about right here. Right, uh, more like right there. So it starts telling you the dangerous water level about right there uh, on the snorkel. We've got a high lift jack right here. Stuff on top, we've got uh, the two Maxa boards as well as jerry cans. I wish you could use the Maxa boards when you get stuck, but I mean, whatever. I guess you can use the uh, winch. Now, we get to the tires. These, I'm assuming, are a Maxis Trepidor. They're, they're different. They're kind of a different Trepidor uh, in the sense that they just don't quite look like a trepidor but they do look like a trepidor I don't, I don't know I'm not gonna complain because this is still one of the better mods out there but I think that I think it's a trepidor I just I'm not too sure um okay let's actually turn around and go a different way out of this place I don't want to go the same direction that we went with the troopy because it wasn't as uh intense as I liked it to have been so the FJ 45 which which what we're in now this is the got the bed obviously the truck bed conversion or the, the bed box conversion um, thank God there's no damage because I would have just destroyed that um, it has the same suspension set up in the front so when it flexes it flexes a lot it does an excellent job. But, like I have said before on this on this current video, this is an overland rig. It is for overlanding. I don't want to, I don't, I don't expect to see these on rocks or rock crawling. You could definitely use it for rock crawling because it's, it's got that much suspension. It's got that, or suspension flex and droop. It's got the solid axle in the front, which is just going to help it. And it's got some sticky ass tires. But, it's really, he designed it for overlanding. And, I think the game has taken a pretty fun and interesting turn in that it is going toward this you know it's either you're a purist to the sport or to the game and you stick to the you don't really even use mods or ooh, that looks like it might be deep water maybe we can show it off here or you're a you're not a purist to the game or you just like to do some realistic off-roading so you get rock crawlers and things of that nature of course when I get closer to the water the water kind of fades away um, or you're a guy who likes to do overlanding stuff, which to me, I like to do the overlanding stuff. I like to explore the maps. Yeah, it's not very deep water. I mean, this would be deep enough for most people that they'd be like, well, you know what, I wouldn't really do that in real life, but it's still, it's not actually deep. Those trepidors, though, man, do they just dig. They dig through the mud, no problem. Um, so back to what I was saying. So you might be like me, which is I love to explore the maps and use realistic based vehicles to do so. Uh, and this, if you're going to do that, I recommend using anything by Surge, by Spun, or by Brute. Those are the most realistic vehicles in the game. Surge especially, just like this. The, the paint looks real. It does not look, I mean, you know what I mean, not necessarily real, I mean it's still a video game, but it doesn't look super cartoony at all. It takes mud on it. It, ha it was dirty to begin with. The windshield's dirty to begin with. It's the attention to detail to make sure that this particular mod comes out the way it should. That's that's what's important. That's what I like to see. I mean, in that it's not, hey, let's see what we can do. How much you know whatever how much suspension travel we can get you know and then see how unrealistic it can get I mean this thing has it's as realistic as it comes and anything Surge does is as realistic as it comes or at least he as he can get it there are times where he might go you know and have fun I mean who was not going to have fun and, and make something or or use something that's just not realistic at all I'm sure there are you know and, and like the 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 LC or HJ the HJ 79 with the blue suspension components and the red suspension components, that's fun. But that truck is still far more realistic than most other trucks that you and most other mods that you see in this game. I'm so surprised at how well this thing just crawls right through the mud. Like the the troopy, it must be a lot heavier. Sinks, or this is just different mud over here, which is very possible as well. I wish I could show you all the suspension flex on this map. I picked the wrong damn map for these two, but you get the idea, I guess. Or at least even the water level. 
even the water level indicator would to show that off would be really cool too. What I might do is pause the uh, the video and then pick it back up on like testing ground so I can kind of show you all the suspension flex. Uh, but we'll keep going because this is also a display of this map. So I'm gonna share a map. It is an overland based map, I think. I think they did a really good job of making it that way. It's not really hard on off roading. It's got a lot of mud, and it's a lot of trail riding. And you get to see, you know, what's around the next bend, or what's going to be over the next hill, or what's going to be through the next mud pit. Right? I mean, that's what the basis of overlanding is. And if you're one of those guys that geotags your location when you overland, screw you. Right? The whole point of overlanding and the whole point of doing this stuff is so that you can find a location to be away from civilization and not so you can share it to somebody else so more civilization can come through. The whole point would be for them to actually go and find that trail themselves, otherwise it makes no sense. Man, this thing really, it just floats over mud. I mean, it has no problem, it just floats right over it. It just it blows me away. Um, see, and this is a good map for this, right? It's just crawling. It's just a, tra or not crawling, I'm sorry, trailing. It's just a trail ride. It's just a good trail ride. It shows off the abilities of the truck, and it shows off, you know, this would be a good map for just about anything. Right? It, sh it would show off their capabilities without putting it through something that's not realistic. I've been on trails before, in real life, that look like this. That are just covered in mud. You know, or... Uh, let's see. How close are we coming to the end of the map? Not real close. We'll cut back this way. Um, or trails between these, you know, large forests. Or in these large forests. I mean, those are my favorite places to go. Me and my wife have been down multiple trails in our in the tundra that we used to own. And the point behind this is I've the reason I started doing this stuff is I had to get rid of my tundra and get rid of the off road part of me for a little bit because and the overland part of me because I unfortunately um, had to get rid of it because I got into pilot school. In pilot school, I had to uh, couldn't afford to keep making the uh, fuel payments essentially I'm sort of calling the fuel payments because the fuel was just outrageous on that thing because I didn't have a job anymore because I was in school again um, so spin tires has kind of filled that niche for me and the modders that put these vehicles into the game have helped me a lot because I get to do these reviews and enjoy these trails and enjoy these trucks exactly like I would as if I were doing it in real life one of the fun things too about it is I get to play with my friends and we use these mods and we try to do it as realistic as possible uh, unfortunately, due to like some difficulties I've been having with OBS and everything, I I did record a, a, a fun multiplayer session, but there's no voice from them. So I now have figured out how to make it all work, got it all working again, and now I can record their voice. So in the future, we're going to have some multiplayer with this FJ-45, with the LC Trooper, Troopy, um, with probably the Land Cruisers, and we'll do some trail rides and trail runs just to show them off and talk about them and get other people's perspectives. God, this truck, look at that, that's mud. That's some thick mud too. I'm sure if we had taken the Troopy down this, we would be just digging. This 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 FJ-45 is awesome. I mean, just no problem whatsoever. Oh, there's a pretty good cliff, which was just a modding, uh, or map, a map texture problem, but it wasn't actually there. All right, we'll get to this. Uh, we'll get to this little uh, checkpoint here, this waypoint, and then I'm gonna pause it and I'm gonna go to another map and show off the ability of these two trucks. And we're actually gonna take it to uh, like testing grounds 3.0. Yeah. All right. So more trails, no rocks. Actually, that's rocks. No, 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 no. That's just more. I think that's just more um, trees. I think. God, it looks like rocks. No, those are trees. Okay. All right. Let me pause this real quick and get back to you guys. All right, we're back. Uh, this is going to be the second time now trying to record this little segment here, but I uh, got these vehicles by Surge. So the Troopy. The F H J F J forty five, which are the two new ones, the L C seventy nine, and then over here the H J seventy nine. 
Reason being is we're just going to show off the suspension flux between the new mods versus some of Surge's older mods. So we're going to start with the HJ um, FJ45. We're just going to show off this, the flex real quick, and then I'll go over to the water and kind of show those off as well. Just how the water thing works. Um, all right. So like I said, this is the second time showing this off now because the first time I didn't actually record. I don't know what that was about. All right, back to what I was saying. So these have quite possibly the best suspension flex for being what they are. So this one's got that crawler set up, right? But it's got a stiffer rear end. We've discussed that because it had that Ford can. Front end, so super soft. Has absolutely no issue whatsoever. And look at that, it just like it's nothing not only that the flex out of this thing is just unbelievable but it's not unrealistic it's just really damn good and if you look at the rear when it's fully canted out it comes right up to the box but not through the box that is excellent suspension tuning Serge spent some time I feel like he spent some serious time doing this same thing goes for the front here right I mean look all the way to the top of the fender yeah it goes through just cuts through a little bit of it but I mean I'm not complaining that's that's still pretty damn near at pretty damn near perfect the other thing that I still really like about this and you can see it is these these steering components actually rotate you're gonna see on the other ones they don't so that was the FJ 45 and now Let's switch over to the Troopy. So the Troopy is probably my favorite. You'll see, look at how, I know I'm running through stuff, but look at how soft it is. Like it will roll if you are not careful. Um, you shouldn't be going that fast in this thing, I suppose, but it's still, it'll roll if you're not careful. Oh, and if you're not wondering, this is the uh, testing ground 3.0. It's just a good map for just kind of testing all little things. I don't have the new testing grounds, but I kind of like this one. It's just kind of got everything I want. Okay. This one is my favorite mod so far. The suspension flex out of this thing is unreal. Okay. So I hate the TSL SS Super Swampers, so the TSL Super Swampers, but they do so good. <laughs> so besides right here, where we're just kind of punctioning through, it stops at the top of the uh, fender. In the back, stops at the top of the fender. Like it should. Like the, the suspension tuning on this is unbelievable. Here we go again. Right here. Suspension components, or the steering components actually rotate as they should. Also, if this shock body was just a little longer, it's probably about right here, that'd be the most realistic suspension flex we could get out of any vehicle. Um, another thing, it's hard to tell right here. Well, let me get it flexed out on the other side and you'll see it. Okay, whoop, right here. It's hard to see. Ah, uh, we overshot. There are the, uh, I cannot for the life of me remember what they're called. I think they're the, <sighs> some joint. Regardless, he, I think it might be the Heim joint. That sounds right, but I'm probably wrong. You can see right here, that's where there's an actual, that's where the steering components are going to hook up and basically transfer energy to the knuckle for it to steer, but also be able to rotate and move freely. I haven't seen anything like that in any other mod. It's as realistic as it can get. It looks unbelievable. He did such a good job on this. He did, seriously, this is like... He did an amazing job. I mean, just the suspension. Oh God, it's just so good. <laughs> I know I'm fangirling hardcore about this truck, but it's just unbelievably well done. He did such a good job on it. <laughs> okay, let's switch over to the LC79. These are older trucks. These are not older trucks. They're actually newer body style trucks, but these are his older mods. Now they were based, I feel like, on the same design, same idea, right? They're going to be overland style rigs, right? They have the overland boxes. 
but they um, they just don't have the same. Uh, they're not to the same level as what he's just put out. So right here, you can see what we were messing with. We got a coil over or coil coil over. We have a coil spring, and we've got a strut, just a shock. Same thing on the front. The rear is just a standard black shock with leaf springs. I'm not bashing that at all because this truck's still really really good. It does a very good job, but it does not flex and it does not work like his other ones, right? This one, what are we missing here? Well, let's get this thing to crawl up over here and we'll sh I'll show you. If I can get it to, whenever that is, okay, right here. Oh, I had it right here. There's no steering components. I mean, there are, they're right here, but they don't work the way they should. And I feel like what happened, and this is the same for the HJ79, I'm not going to point it out on it, but it does the same thing. I think that Surge went back and looked at his past previous mods, saw what worked and what didn't, and fixed it. And they look now and work unbelievable, as we can see by the, the FJ and the Troopy. He figured out, hey, this truck right here doesn't have as much suspension flex as it probably should. This one doesn't have as realistic as a, of a whatever as it should. And he fixed it. Whoa. Uh, I have spin mod on, so no damage. That's why you're not seeing any. He, and he fixed it, and he did excellent. These are easily... There are those two. The else, this Troopy and the FJ45 are easily his best mods that he's ever put out. And probably the best mods that this game's seen in a long, long, long time. If at all. So this one has different suspension components. It's got a bypass on a cool with a cool spring. And it's got a hell of a lot of flex. Do not get me wrong. I mean that's a lot of flex. But it don't it's not as tuned as the FJ and the Troopy. But one thing I think he took is like look the 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 winch cable moves. <laughs> like that's just unbelievable. There's so many things that this thing did right that he carried over to those trucks. Same thing with the LC79. Um, so many things that were done right that he carried over. And now we have these perfect trucks. So I want to show real quick just the water. And then uh, I'll compare. The, F the FJ45 and the Troopy have the same water level. Uh, danger indicator. And I'm going to compare it to one of the... Probably the LC79, honestly. It's my favorite. Um, okay, so here we are to water. It does get deep right here, so this should work. So, right there, dangerous water level. But as soon as you stop, it stops. Because the water level is no longer a danger, because it's not over... See, but it's not over the... The, uh... Snorkel! Now compare that to the LC79 watch this the LC79 has two snorkels it's a dual snorkel setup should be no problem with this thing taking on this water but check this out I think this is really interesting something else that is just the smallest little details that make the biggest biggest um, changes to this to the mods Dangerous water level, right there. Still dangerous. And we start taking damage. 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 And more damage. And we're just through the same stuff that that one just did. I mean, I think, like I said before, he took from what he was doing, what he had made in the past and did it over again and created an amazing mod um one thing i wish i could see on this which they don't they do kind of work with the lights on top but whatever i'm not gonna this is not a review of this truck um i think to me that it's just the smallest things that make the biggest difference and that's where it p proves the point so this has been a uh, mod breakdown of the trooper the troopy and the FJ45. Both are probably the best two mods that you're going to see in this game, period. End of story. Surge, you did an amazing job. These are awesome. The suspension tuning's great. 
the uh, trepidors on this one literally they, it glides over mud floats right over it the tsl's super swampers on the troopy dig that mud yeah it's heavier and it sinks but still they do good um these are overland mods i think that they are great purpose-built mods i think that you could also rock crawl with these mods i and though maybe not like a hardcore rock crawling trail but you could definitely take rocks on that are on the trail right that are on your your overland trail Easily the best two trucks in this game. Uh, what I'd like to see in the future, for sure, not necessarily from Surge, but from anyone. Surge, if you want to do it, dude, go for it. I want to see some Chevy Colorados come out. Multiple variants of it, like the, the ZR2s with the diesels and without the diesel motor. Uh, some Overland-esque style ones and some versions that aren't. So maybe some like go fast versions. Um, I want to see some first gen Raptors and man if someone could figure out how to do a really well done IFS would be awesome uh, And then I'd like to see some half ton pickups some 1500 uh, Chevy's Rams Ford's Toyota's Nissan's with Appropriate add-ons because in the United States, especially there is a huge surge toward Overlanding with a half ton pickup not just a Tacoma. Those are quarter tons not your not your Tacomas and Colorados and your Frontiers, but half tons. I had a Tundra. I know a bunch of friends that have Tundras. I know a bunch of friends that have Chevy Silverados that overland. Just all sorts of different kinds of trucks. I'd like to see that in this game and get into that that culture of overlanding because these there's maps coming out that are amazing for that. That Mashera uh, Mashera map is awesome. The um, Badlands maps those are great. And I'd like to see that. And I know if Surge does it, he's going to do it right. And if he ever decides to go out of the realm of these older trucks, the FJs, um, and the Troopies and, and the Land Cruisers, which I know they are probably a lot easier to make because they're more boxy, um, they're going to be great trucks because he did it. And Spun could do it. Nix could do it. They all could do it. But because Surge just does it, and I'm, man, I'm... I know I'm fanboying big time on Surge, Surge's trucks, but his mods are so good. Um, but yeah, I think that'd be really cool to see those. FJ Cruisers, there's one FJ Cruiser, and it's the most unrealistic FJ Cruiser in this game. Uh, but I digress, I digress. Uh, either way, this has been a good mod breakdown of these two trucks. Uh, I'll see y'all in the next one, and I might make a Discord. We'll see. But regardless, I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care. Maybe I'll see you on the trails.